Okay, welcome to my review on the Hassan uh, 3D printer, the M505B. I purchased on AliExpress from the Hassan Customized Store. I don't usually deal on AliExpress because I got, uh, when they first started up, I got burnt a few times there and uh, either people not sending out their stuff or just taking a long time to deal with and yeah. Anyways, that's another story. So I paid about $450 uh, Canadian, all said and done, uh, after FedEx and all that fun stuff. So I was more than happy with this printer uh, at, at that point. Uh, right now, I do know they have it on for 352 but there's also a sale price. And they usually have some sales on the unit as well. So always check in with them, see what kind of deals they got on. Right now, looking at the price, I'd probably buy another unit. Uh, looking at the sale that's on right now, um, <clears throat> uh, the Hassan Customized Store. Uh, these guys are phenomenal. Uh, I thought I was gonna, you know, not have any communication with them. They communicated with me left, right, and center. Any questions I had, anything I needed to get my machine up and going, they were there to help me out. So I was uh, quite happy with them about that. Uh, you know, you're gonna get the machine. It's going to be the 210 millimeter by 210 millimeter uh, uh, print area, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, the heat bed <clears throat> is uh, only 12 volts, uh, so if you want that to heat up a lot quicker, uh, I would suggest looking into getting a 24 volt uh, uh, that set up as 24 volt. <clears throat> but uh, for me, it works as it should. Uh, I ended up building an enclosure for the unit uh, to help with the heat, heating issues on the heat bed uh, because uh, it, it wasn't sufficient enough for me and it would take way too long to get my print started and then it was fighting with uh, the, the extruder of who was going to be heating uh, at what point in time. So the only issue I had was I had the threaded rod there uh, binding right about there. So near the top there, uh, there's some binding, and uh, I just had to loosen off one of my uh, my left motor there to get everything uh, all set and done. Uh, you get your two rolls of uh, filament with it. I requested an ABS, and guess what? I got a nice, wonderful roll of ABS, because I wanted to use that for uh, a few of the projects that I had on the go <clears throat> that I wanted to complete. And uh, I think I do about 218 degrees on that one uh, and on ABS, uh, or 228, sorry, and uh, 80 on the bed. Uh, because I have an enclosure and I have not used tape when doing ABS, I use uh, the hairspray method, which I do believe they use as well, uh, the Hassan Customized Store. Uh, looking at the gloss on the top, it looks like the hairspray gloss. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, I've never had the bed uh, up to 110 without uh, a lot of struggle, and it took uh, putting styrofoam on top of it to help heat it, uh, and it was just not fun. So everything you're seeing printed today is on Thingiverse, except for this one here. Uh, which I didn't Google sketch up. It's an Unleash the Archers uh, logo uh, for a band uh, that I was just playing around with, uh, just getting used to Google sketch up again. And, and uh, yeah, so I did that up. Uh, uh, you're going to get uh, the 8 gig SD card uh, from them as well, and that's going to have all your documentation on it. It's going to have all your uh, <clears throat> software as well. Uh, your repeater host software and uh, then in there you're gonna have a few choices for uh, uh, slicers to use I used the cure engine uh, just because it was just really simple to uh, configure everything to get good quality prints right away uh, I did have uh, one print I did uh, I'll show I'll point it out uh, that I did uh, that was uh, with a different engine but it was junk and it was one of my first prints so it's like ah okay something's gotta something's gotta give here so 
<clears throat> ended up changing over to the Cure engine and everything started to print beautifully. So that's why I recommend it. Uh, like I said, the Hassan Customized Store. Uh, I'm going to be ordering more uh, ABS uh, from them here shortly. Just because I've ordered a bunch on eBay and a couple other places and they were just complete junk. Uh, you get what you pay for, basically. Uh, but uh, there is some good stuff out there, but I'm not going to be purchasing every roll from a single roll from every company out there to find uh, what works for me. So do your homework on it, uh, and you'll find uh, uh, the people that sell the good stuff for you. Me, uh, it's the Hassan Customized Store. Uh, their filament uh, was by far the least uh, flawed I've ever seen. Uh, looking at some of these uh, other ones, uh, where it's just complete junk. Uh, this is my first like dry air print on the printer here. Uh, when I just got it set up, it took me about eight hours total time to do, just in my spare time. So just take your time with it. Uh, enjoy setting it up. You'll get the printing soon enough. Don't worry. Uh, you're going to be re-leveling things all the time. You're going to be adjusting things. Uh, so if you're new to it, just take your time. It is going to get frustrating, uh, but you just got to kind of look and uh, and uh, diagnose things uh, properly. Uh, after uh, a couple of uh, weeks of full print time on this unit, I've had to adjust the belts a couple times uh, as well because of stretching on them. Uh, I would recommend uh, buying another roll of um, uh, belt uh, just to have, just in case you need one day, uh, because uh, I have a feeling uh, I'll need them eventually one day as well. Uh, but the wear on them after a couple weeks worth of full print time is not that much. Uh, these this, these are all prints of my first prints that I printed out. As you can tell, the quality is awesome. A couple little flaws here and there, but nothing uh, major by any means, uh, w which I can touch up with uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, here's that print I was talking. This is not with the Cure engine, and it's just slop. Uh, so be careful when uh, using your uh, uh, printer that you're setting things up uh, properly and know that uh, uh, it's not always the printer it's the software that can be the issue uh, with your prints as well and <clears throat> once again you can see the quality of the print here and uh, it's uh, definitely worthwhile and I printed up a bunch of stuff off of Thingiverse there that I wanted uh, and uh, by the time I printed out all the stuff I wanted I looked at how much it would have cost me to purchase uh, some of these items, uh, not just these ones here, uh, but other items that I'd printed up, uh, what I would cost me on uh, eBay to purchase, and the, the how much filament I'd use was just a fraction of the cost of one of the items, let alone all of them that I got to print out. And I did build the enclosure. Here it is here, and it just helps keep the heat stable on the bed. Uh, and I do run my ABS, like I said, at 80 degrees on the bed. Uh, I can't get it to the 110 as much as I'd like to. Uh, but uh, 80 on the bed with hairspray works wonders. <clears throat> 60 for PLA, uh, which works phenomenally. And also even using, uh, I use uh, rafts, I do believe, on my prints as well. Uh, so it'll build up a couple layers at first uh, just to uh, uh, make sure everything's level uh, before you start going. And uh, I do love making project boxes and stuff like that. One issue I had is this. I had a fire in my unit. Probably my fault. I probably, when I was moving it, uh, one of the wires came loose on the, the terminal there. But I got it all cleaned up. What I ended up doing was building a, a cooling system for it. <clears throat> which has an 80 millimeter uh, exhaust on it and a 40 millimeter intake just to help keep that board cool uh, and it's got filters on it it has uh, a temp sensor uh, speed controller added on to it as well so the fans aren't always running at a hundred percent and uh, I'm able to keep that all nice and cool another thing I added was a smoke alarm 
It only goes off when my prints lift off the bed and when there's a fire in there. No other time, which I was happy about. So please like, subscribe, post your comments below. Any help you need, let me know. I'll help you out. Have a good day.